Hi everyone, Frederick here, Simple System Trading. I want to show you in this quick video the new volume dot study. Um, if you click on the study description, as always, there will be a browser window popping up um, with the documentation of this study. So let me see. Oops. I don't want to restore pages. Here you go. So if you have questions on the study, you can, of course, always email me. Uh, it's my email address. Uh, but you can also check out uh, first the documentation. You'll go through the um, settings, sub-settings, and what each setting does. If you find errors or something's not working, just let me know. I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Uh, with this study, you can plot a, depending on the mode you select it, you can plot a volume, volume relationship. Basically, if a threshold is exceeded, a plot will be placed on the chart. And the plot will have certain characteristics, as in size, color, and draw style. So that's the, the main uh, workings of this, uh, this study. So if you want to do something on the bid side, it takes one study. If you want to plot something else on the ask side, you will use another study. So that's why we have four loaded here. And this will maximize the number of plots you can have on one bar. There's a limitation in share a chart, but uh, it's 60 subgraphs, but we'll use all of them inside one bar. So that will be uh, sufficient for the use of this, um, this study. So if you look in, uh, in the settings, there is a, a main mode selection. And depending on that choice, you will have a sub-mode for each uh, selection and relevant sub-settings on each uh, mode. So if you look at this, we have diagonal imbalance. So we need to set the imbalance block of the settings. The other ones are not relevant, will not be taken into account. The main selection is the starting point. So look at imbalance. On this side, we have a sub mode looking at the bid imbalance. A certain threshold is met. This is percentage for the, for the imbalance here. Um, if it's greater than 100%, we will have a plot on the chart. There's a few uh, options here um, to ignore zero value on the imbalance calculation. Uh, you can set minimum and maximum filters on the volume. And that could filter out a possible plot as well. An important setting on coloring is to set a, in this case, a threshold number that you want to associate with your max color. So anything that comes out of the calculation that is, in this case, 500 or bigger, will be plotted as the dark red. That's how that setting works. Um, so that's quickly the imbalance mode, sub mode selection, few filters, and then you pop up into the draw style. So if a, in this case, an imbalance calculation uh, is valid, it passes the threshold and the filter, it will be plotted on the chart. So then you draw, in this case, a hollow circle. Hollow circle is used as a draw style, it will be plotted. Depending on the draw style, the size can be either auto or fixed. Uh, to make it easy, the circles can be auto uh, sized if you want. You can also fixed size them. The tick one is always tick size, so that's not important. And the square one will always take the fixed number as well as the text. The text size is also the fixed plot size. Um, so that will determine uh, what to plot and how big to plot it. Then the color range will determine at what color that plot will be on your chart. And there's a color range from min and max value. The minimum value starts at the threshold value and the max value stops at that max uh, association setting and each has a different setting for that default is 500 so that's the main gist of this study main mode sub mode sub settings filter it we have a, a threshold passed with a filter passed we're going to plot it at a certain style and a certain color 
with a certain size. Number of uh, plot history, uh, if you first load a chart uh, or um, you continue using it, this will be a number of bars that the uh, plots will be saved on. So just to keep it a bit more efficient. Um, there's a general filter uh, option. I'll explain that in a little bit. Uh, but there's also the top and bottom bar filter option. These filter options are for every mode. So it doesn't matter what mode you are, these filters will apply. These are general filters. Um, the top bar and the bottom bar will apply in all selected modes as well. So if you're interested in uh, the top two uh, imbalances, so we're in imbalance mode here on the bit side, we're going to do a hollow circle um, and we only want to see the top two price levels of the hollow circle, then we can set that to two. We click apply and we'll see a few hollow circles go away here because they're not in the top two, right? So top four, click apply and this one is back, right? So that's how that works. So you can kind of limit the observation mode inside a bar and that works on all modes. You can also use both of them. So you can really isolate the occasion where you want to see a certain volume or volume relationship happen and be plotted. That's the main gist of the study. Um, then a few things on, on the modes, the main modes. There's time and sales mode. Um, this will run through your time and sales uh, data, uh, just like you would uh, get, sorry, where is that? Charts, open time and sales window. Um, this will always run. Some people have it on their screens. They want to see um, the volume come up. Uh, this study will take in that same data if you use it in time and sales main mode, right? If there is, uh, in this case, a bit volume as the sub mode, it will look for bit rates. If the volume passes threshold, it will plot a dot. That's the main thing. And you can plot a circle. You can plot the text if you want. And that way you can use time and sales data on your chart and you will plot it immediately as it happens. You can choose if you want to plot always the newest or the biggest because they happen at a certain price. If there is a new um, occasion where the threshold is passed, there's a plot, um, should we plot it? Depends on this setting. If you set it to newest, always the newest at that price will be plotted. If you plot the biggest, you will use the size as a reference point to plot it or not. That's only when it happens on the same price. If it happens on another price, it will just plot it if it passes that uh, threshold. Then volume at price mode, uh, you have a subsetting, a bid, ask, total volume, uh, also bid and ask percentage. Uh, bid percentage is the bid number the percentage of bit volume inside um, that price level. So you have volume at price here at 22.79. Then we will calculate uh, 22 as a percentage of total volume. That's done on every price level. If it passes a certain threshold, we will place a dot on the chart. If you want to filter that uh, calculation, so these filters are only for bid and ask percentage, you can filter. In balance mode already uh, done and then there's full bar mode full bar takes full bar of, uh, of volume you can select a bid and ask percentage there as well uh, so this could be interesting if you're looking at a full bar and maybe only the bottom piece of it and you want to look at uh, bid or ask percentage on that it could be very useful uh, if it passes the the threshold it will plot a dot uh, also needs to pass this filter. If you the filters, if you use a zero, it will not filter. There's no filter active. Here as well, there's a association with the max color range, 
and for the full bar you have a placement option because we observe a full bar you can choose where you want to have that uh, draw style placed it can be at the bar high the bar low the point of control or any reference subgraph if you use the reference subgraph you have to select that study subgraph here so you can place it very flexible on your chart there's an offset here as well you can use that takes plus and minus uh, values so those are the modes the main modes sub modes and a few settings uh, we've discussed the um, draw style the color and the size and the filters the general filter um, is based on using a color bar based on alert condition study uh, I use that all the time in my videos but it's very flexible what you can do with that study is you identify a some kind of alert condition if that alert condition is valid it will output a one um, as a uh, subgraph value I will set this to ignore because I don't want any visuals on it I just want it to evaluate my alert condition and if that alert condition is true like uh, maybe the close is bigger than the open uh, if that alert condition is true the um, uh, subgraph will be one right and you can use that to filter out let's say you want to have the circle outline filtered based on that alert condition we just put in we're going to select the color bar based on alert condition here and this bar is an up bar uh, it will not have any outline anymore for the bid because that's where we placed it on we had the bit circle outline using that filter so the filter is true it will not show so if you get rid of the filter the outline is shown again so that's the main filter option that kind of concludes the uh, all the options here it's a bit quick but I want to keep the video uh, quick as well not waste too many too much time on uh, my voice uh, these are the chart books that are included in the um, in the uh, download and this will give you some inspiration to uh, create your own or adjust these as you want it uh, for instance this um, this chart here uses the the tick size rectangle uh, on a footprint chart and the bigger the imbalance uses imbalance here the bigger the imbalance the more red the color is so you see here that this imbalance is uh, bigger than the other imbalances so it could give you a nice uh, visual view just based on the color range uh, what kind of intensity we're looking at um, so that's uh, a wrap up of uh, of this explainer video let me know if you have questions uh, as a free trial available um, you can check it out on the page and click the link below all right thank you have a good weekend bye bye